and now for the uh, OK version of book number eight. And by OK version, I mean the OK version of ep of the uh, next episode. Anyway, all science material is copyrighted March 17, 2000 by me, Christian Weston Chandler. Any names or persons illustrated in any of the science comic books except that myself that may seem similar to anyone in real life or fiction are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic. And to note, some of the following comic pages contain scenes of censored, honest content that may not be suitable to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Anyway, here is the cover. Woohoo, it's spring break! Yay! Everybody running around on the beach! Yay! And we're featuring a spring cake con concert featuring... Chickadee on me! Chickadee, chickadee, chickadee! Prologue of episode 17. Continuing from an hour after Sanchi and Rose Chu's date, 10 p.m., November 3rd, 2007. For your information, Sanchi turned 19, March 17th, 2000. Rose Chu turned 18, December 22nd, 2006. Sanchi and Rose Chu have been living together in a cozy single-story, fully-paid fully paid house from Quickfield Funds. This is a map located their house in the city limits. Yeah. Mm. Basically, their house is located midpoint between the mall and the metropolis within that subdivision, a humble 14 Branchville Lane, Quickville, Virginia, 02024-1982. Thank God I took a pure A track and design CAD classes to make these accurate measurements. Plus, also, they have been married since 2006. March 2006. Continuing on with the story. Inside the master bedroom that night after their fun date. Well, sweet boat, we're both nice and clean. You ready to get dirty again? <laughs> you bet your sweet bod, girl. Good thing we stopped for a pack of condoms. It's too bad the regular ones break easily on my 7 inch. It's more like, more like size 5 or less to measure those wimps. Hmm. Well, maybe the devil extra length will stay, long, stay stronger and longer on your healthy girth. Well, I'm well. I'm itching for a little missionary cowgirl. Can you think you can handle it? I think I can hot shot. I think I can hot shot. Insert right A into slot B. Hmm. Let's pause for a moment. To, to, oh, never mind. We we'll skip that part. I need to edit that part out. Anyway. Anyway, episode seventeen. Rage against the garbage. The next morning at ten a.m., November third, two thousand seven, in the master bedroom. Rose Chu is looking on the computer and saw she's just getting up to greet her. Hey, she got up earlier. Good morning, too cute to boat. Last night was awesome. I had a dream that we double day with Bionic and Majash Magaji. How'd you like to sing? Rose Chu replies, Kuya Cunlin signed you. I was just checking out this webpage Kelly told me about yesterday. And seriously drives Chris's and our names to major muck. What, really? Hex, yeah. Take a look at it. Huh. Some major force sent garbage. Dot com, yes. But it gets worse beyond the test. What? When was that photo taken? Did someone sneak through our neighborhood, watch, and intrude our house just to put in a camera in here and take a piece shop so you and me? Not only that, but Bubbles and Blake? And since when did Angelica did that? And when did Slowly O'Ryan sell herself out? And when did Christian and Meg Chan sign at you? Those are hand drawings, not photographs. Oh. But still, they look so lifelike. Yeah. And this, to my most distressed distaste, is the apex of the page. <laughs> he rushes to the bathroom. Hmm, well, I most certainly feel like crying that game as well. Thank God for blessing me with how they said women parts. How dare they betray me otherwise, those monsters. Curse every last idiot behind this garbage. Blech. Ah, poor Sanch. Ah, uh, 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 uh. crawls back in. I can't believe those, those monsters. Uh, last time I checked, you were uh, an all-true, full-fledged woman, and you were the main woman in this month's Okay Boy magazine. If the centerfolds in this magazine do not prove that you're all woman, then you'd have to go down there and prove it to them. Oh. Oh my god, son at you. Oh, my sweet boat, you got stressed out from the shock. I'm sorry. You rest your brewery head and recover your strength. We'll go to their main building together later and try to reason with them. I'm so mad at them. 
lousy dickhead idiots. If they think they can get away with putting a strap on over my glorious beautiful, but see, their behinds are gonna get spanked hard. Hmm. Well, I'll start by replacing their slanderous mockeries with an equal number of my own self centerfolds. Beep, beep, doing this in the bathroom. Click war! 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 Three minutes later, she comes out of the bathroom with her pictures on the memory card. Hmm. Beep, 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 beep. Hmm. Shoot. About ten more or so of those dang images there were than there were earlier before I showed up. Hmm. Oh, I should ask Bubbles and Angelica for their assistance. They'd be glad to rally for the cause. Later that day, at 1.45 p.m., in front of the Forsett Garbage Building in Clarksville, Tennessee. Seventy-two stories. Wow, that's tall, exclaimed Sideshoe. Sideshoe, stay focused. We're here to meet the head of this company and reason with him. Yes, my blossoming that bud. That's why we are here. Hey, it was good of Magic Chan to teleport us here. By the way, you called earlier to make our appointment. What was the name of who we're meeting again? Well, he did not give his last name. He only introduced us as Jason. Hmm. Oh, lovey. If I've told you once, I've told a million times, you should not leave your post at our mansion. But I'm sorry, Thurston, but we were on the island for so long, I've got used to strolling without it. Indeed. <laughs> hmm. Well, while y'all are wheeling and dealing, with, I'll search for a Sid Sancho K.I. Crystal. That magic chan detected in the building. Hmm. Days doesn't go by when I can't help but appreciate the stealth teachings of my father. He was leader of his cut-sharp clan, Scyther and Scizor. One day on a mission for swift revenge upon the Charmeleon cult for bringing down their jungle dojo, he was captured by poachers. I was close behind his trio when it happened. I wept as I saw him being put into their van. I tried to release my father, but he told me to stop. He said there was no way I could cut through that steel, and they drove off. And the last thing I saw of him was a passing of the torch look in his eyes. Since then, I swore revenge on those monsters. Just be safe, Wild. Don't get yourself caught. Yeah, we support you, man. If you get caught, we'll come to your rescue. And then Wild Sancho goes to do his conversion attack to blend in with all surroundings. I learned it from a passing Porygon. Then Wild Sancho dashes into the building in his camouflage. Then Sancho comments, Wow, when Wild blends in, he doesn't fool around. Now let's go clean the mud off our good names. And then Sancho and Roshi walk into the building themselves. Wild went pretty much to... Wild dashed in quickly, uh... Yeah, he dashed in right behind him. Anyway. They walk in, they're like, Wow. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, it really sets the mood. Yeah, if you live in a volcano. Sanji and Roshi approach the nearby receptionist's desk. Uh, excuse me, my lady friend and I have a two o'clock appointment with the head of your company. And he's just sitting there watching his own, watching his own, watching his own stuff that's uh, going up and down on the uh, ED site, on the four cent garbage site. Anyway, he replies, Yeah, sure. Go, go to the opposite side of the column and take the elevator to floor 66 plus 6. <coughs> Uh, excuse me, by that math equation, wouldn't that be the 72nd floor? Yes, if you want to get technical, get going, I'm busy here! Arr! Gee, thanks.